Hi there, grade 5 pupils. Welcome back again to another video lesson for grade 5 mathematics quarter 1. So we are now on the second week of our discussion on divisibility rules. So previously on the first week, we have discussed divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10, yung lesson 1 natin, and then yung lesson 2 which is the divisibility rules for 3, 6, and 9. So on this video lesson, so we will be discussing divisibility rules for 4, 8, 12, and 11. So yung magka-group talaga dito is yung 4, 8, and 12. And then yung 11, separate siya. Kaya lang, since kasama siya dun sa divisibility rules, syempre, sinama na lang natin dito siya para hindi siya separate. So kagaya din sa melts, ganyan kasi yung nakasulat. 4, 8, 12, and 11. So let's start. So, for the lesson objectives, of course, we will be defining divisibility. And then, we will be uh, using divisibility rules for 4, 8, 12, and 11 to find the common factors of the numbers. So, ayan. So, let us now proceed to defining what is divisibility. So, in mathematics... Divisibility means that we can divide a whole number by another whole number without having a remainder. Okay, so for you to understand what is divisibility, okay, so ano ano nga ba yung uh, without remainder na yan? Like for example, if you have 20 pesos, and then the 20 pesos will be divided into 2 because you will be giving this uh, children uh, an equal amount of money. Okay, so 20, i-divide natin siya sa 2, will get 10 pesos. So it means, bawat bata makakakuha ng equal amount na 10 pesos. And then, wala tayong matitira. So kung binigyan mo yung bata ng 10 pesos, and then binigyan mo yung pangalawang bata ng another 10 pesos. So equal amount sila. And then, add natin yon will get 20. So I hope it's clear. Next, without performing actual division, we can easily determine if a number is divisible by a given number. This can be done by following the rules of divisibility. Okay, this means that hindi natin kailangan i-divide talaga yung number para lang malaman natin kung divisible ba yun sa given number. Okay, so meron tayong sinusundan na rules which is yung rules of divisibility na i-discuss po natin sa ating video lesson. So, let us start our discussion for the divisibility rule for 4. Okay. So, if a number is divisible by 4, then the last two digits is divisible by 4, where the last two digits are both zeros. Okay. So, dito naman, ang kinoconsider natin sa divisibility rule for 4 is yung last two digits. Hindi tayo nagbe-base lang dun sa last digit. Okay. So, o kaya naman, yung last two digits niya ay parehong zero. So, kapag yung number nakita natin, dalawa yung zero or higit pa sa huli, sa hulihan, so automatically, divisible by 4 po yun. As dapat po magkatabi yung mga digits. 0, 0, o kaya naman tatlong 0, apat na 0, kailangan po magkakatabi yung mga 0. Wala po dapat nasa pagitan. Okay. So, let us have examples. We have 64, 148, 300, 5,176, and 19,032. Okay. So, let's have 64. So, 64. Pakita natin na di-divide siya sa 4. Ayan. So, yung long division. So, kunin natin yung 6, yung first digit niya. 6 divided by 4. So, how many 4 can we get to 6? We have only 1. 1 times 4, we have 4. Then, we subtract. So, bring down 4. 6 minus 4, we have 24. 24 divided by 4, we have 6. So, 24 minus 24, we have 0. 
Therefore, 64 is divisible by 4 because the remainder is 0. Next, 148 divided by 4. So, ayan, 148. So, kunin natin yung 1. Yung first digit niya. Can we divide 1 by 4? The answer is no. So, we'll get the second digit. So, magiging 14 siya. How many 4 can we get to 14? So, we skip counting by 4. So, 4, 8, 12. So, we only, we only have 3. 3 times 4, that is 12. 4 minus 2, that is 2. And 1 minus 1 is 0. Bring down 8. Next, 28 divided by 4. So, how many 4 can we get to 28? We have 7. So, 4 times 7, we have 28. And that is 0. So, therefore, 148 is also divisible by 4. 300 is divisible by 4 simply because the last two digits are both zeros. Ayan. So, hindi natin kailangan i-divide yan. So, pinapakita lang po natin yung division na yan para lang po makita nyo talaga. Okay. Next. 5,176. So, dito, pwede naman natin kunin lang yung 76. Okay. 76. Divide natin sa 4. 7 divided by 4, we have 1 times 4, 4. Then, we subtract. Bring down 6. 7 minus 4, we have 3. 3, 36 divided by 4, we'll have 19. So, since 0 yung remainder natin, we can consider 5,176 divisible by 4. Next, 19,032. So, last two digits lang. So, yung, last, eh, yung first two examples natin, pinakita ko talaga kung paano dinidivide. So, 32 divided by 4. And that is 8. Therefore, 19,032 is also divisible by 4. So, yan lang po yung divisibility rule for 4. Last two digits lang yung ating consider. What about divisibility rule for 8? So, if a number is divisible by 8, then the last three digits is divisible by 8 or the last three digits are both zeros. Okay. So, sa divisibility rule by 8, ang kinoconsider natin, dito is the last three digits, hindi na yung last two digits. Okay. O kaya naman, the last three digits are, are both zeros. So, nadagdagan po yung zeros natin. Kailangan tatlong zeros lang magkakatabi. Doon sa pinaka dulo. Yung ones, tens, and hundreds place. So, let us have examples. Examples are 248, 1,752, 6,984, and 13,000. Okay. So, we'll start with 248. So, 248, we divide it by 8. So, we'll get 2. 2 is not divisible by 8. Okay. We'll get 4. So, magiging 24. So, how many 8 are there in 24? So, skip counting. We have 8, 16, 24. So, that is 3. And then, we subtract. So, we'll get 0. So, 24 minus 24, that is 0. We bring down 8. And 8 divided by 8, that is 1. Therefore, 248 is divisible by 8. Next. 1,752. So, we'll just get 752. Yung last three digits lang niya. So, getting 7, that is not divisible by 8. So, we'll get 5. 
uh, 7 is less than 8. Kaya hindi natin pwedeng kunin lang yung first digit. Kaya is why magiging 75. How many 8 are there in 75? So, kung skip counting tayo, we'll have 9. Okay. So, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and then 72. Meron tayong sham na 8. So, that is 72. And then, we'll just subtract 5 minus 2, that is 3. Bring down 2. 7 minus 7, that is 0. Now, how many 8s are there in four, uh, 32? We have 4. So, 32 minus 32, that is 0. That is why 1,752 is also divisible by 8. Next, 6,984 will get 984 lang. 9 divided by 8, that is 1. So, there are only 1. There is only 1 8 that we can get to 9. So, 8 times 1, that is 8. So, subtract. 9 minus 8, we have 1. And then, we bring down 8. So, 8, 18 divided by 8 will get 2. Kasi dalawa lang makukuha ang 8. 8, 16. Yung kasunod ng 16 is 24. And 24 is greater than 18. So, we'll have 16. Then, subtract. 2. Bring down 4. How many 8s are there in 24? We have 3 times 8, 24. So, our answer is 123. Next, 13,000. So, since yung last 3 digits ng ating given is our, our vote zeros, so we don't need to divide them. Yan, kasi kitang-kita naman, last 3 digits 0, automatically divisible by 8 po yan. Next, divisibility rule for 12. If a number is divisible by 12, then the number is both divisible by 3 and 4. Okay, so, dito consider natin yung dalawang divisibility rule, yung 3 at 4. Examples are 96, 348, 1,752, and 6,504. Okay. So, list na lang natin yung mga numbers. So, kung divisibility rule by 3, so, kailangan natin i-add yung mga digits. 9 plus 6, we have 15. Okay siya. 3 plus 4 plus 8, that is also 15. Divisible by 3 lahat yan. Next, 1 plus 7 plus 5 plus 2, we have 15. Then, 6 plus 5 plus 0 plus 4 plus also 15. So, ayan, check po sila dun sa divisibility rule by 3. So, dito naman tayo sa 4. So, sa divisibility rule by 4, kinukuha natin yung last 2 digits. Okay. 96. So, 96, divide natin sa 4, ang makukuha po natin sagot is 24. So, paano nangyari yon? So, long division. 9 divided by 4, we have 2. Times 4, 8. Subtract. So, 9 minus 8, that is 1. Bring down 6. 16 divided by 4 will have 4. Ayan. So, divisible by 4. Yung 96. And then, yung 40, uh, 348. And then, kunin lang natin dito is yung 48, yung last two digits. 4 divided by 4 will have 1. Subtract and then bring down 8. 8 divided by 4 we have 2. The remainder is 0. Therefore, 348 is divisible by 
4. Okay, next. 1,752, kunin lang natin is 52. 5 divided by 4, this 1, minus 4, and 1, bring down 2. 12 divided by 4, that is 3, minus 12. Ayan. The remainder is also 0. So, divisible by 4 din po yung 1,752. And then finally, 6,504. So, ayan. Last two digits niya is 0, 4. Or 4 lang. So, 0, 4 is divisible by 4. So, ayan. Yung ating mga examples are all divisible by 12. Kasi divisible by 3 and 4 po silang pareho. Next, divisibility rule for 11. Okay, so ito kailangan nating tandaan yung steps natin dito. Kasi hindi siya kamukha ng divisibility rules for 4, 8, and 12. So to check whether a number is divisible by 11, subtract the sums of the alternating digits beginning from left. If the sum obtained is either 11 or 0, 0 then the number is divisible by 11. So para ma-check natin, Kung yung number, yung given number, is divisible by 11, kailangan po nating subtract. So, ibig sabihin, magma-minus tayo. Doon sa ano, yung sums. So, sums, ibig sabihin, add. Sums of the alternating digits. So, kapag sinabi po nating alternating digits, yun po yung uh, salit-salitan po. Like, for example, uh, we have... 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yung 1, kapartner niya yung 3. So, sulat lang natin dito. 1, 2, 3, 4. Bawa lang po. So, alternating. Ayan, 1. Ka-alternate niya, yun, 3. Para kapartner ni 1, si 3. Si 2 naman, si 4. Yun po yung alternate. Okay. If the sum of the... If the sum obtained is either 11 or 0, then the, then the number is divisible by 11. So, kapag pinag-subtract natin yung sums ng alternating digits, magsimula sa left, kailangan na makuha natin yung sum is either 11 or 0. Otherwise, the given number is not divisible by 11. So, check the following numbers, whether the following numbers are divisible by 11. So, yan. Check natin. Given 539, 2,482, 15, and 15,961. So, let's start with 539. Okay. So, dito, yung alternating digits natin, yung 5 and 9. So, magiging ganito siya. 5 plus 9. I-add natin yun. Minus yung 3. So, ayan. Wala siyang kapartner. So, kaya ganyan lang siya. Pero, alimbawa, nilagyan natin dito sa tabi ng 9 na 1, ang kapartner ng 3 is yung 1. Alternate kasi. So, 5 plus 9, we have 14. Minus 3, 11. So, since yung nakuha nating sum is 11, 539 is divisible by 11. Next, 2,482. 2,482. So, dito, magka-partner po yung 2, tsaka yung 8. Ayan. 2 plus 8. Okay? Minus yung sum naman ng 4, tsaka 2. Ayan. Lagi po tayo nagsisimula dun sa left. It's a first number. Ayan. 2 plus 8, we have 10. Minus, the sum of 4 and 2 is 6. So, 10 minus 6 is 4. So, yung nakuha po nating sum is 4. Therefore, 2,482 is not divisible by 11. Hindi po sa divisible by 11. Simply because yung nakuha po nating difference is 4. Hindi siya 11 or 0. Finally, we have 15,961. So, dito naman ang magkakagrupo. 
1, 9, tsaka 1 ulit. So, 1 plus 9 plus 1. Minus, yung kagrupo naman ng 5 is yung 6. So, 5 plus 6. So, add natin 1 plus 9, 10 plus 1, 11. Minus yung sum ng 5 and 6, we also have 11. 11 minus 11, we have 0. So, since yung nakuha nating difference is 0, therefore, 15,961 is divisible by 11. So, yan lang po yung ating uh, divisibility rule for 11. So, alternating. So, kailangan nating i-consider yan. Iginugroup natin yung mga numbers, yung mga digits. So, let us have activity number 1. Write true if the statement is correct. If not, write false. So, ayan. It has something to do with the visibility rules for 4, 8, 12, and 11. So, let's have number 1. 364 is divisible by 4. So, yung last two digits ng given natin is 64. So, if we're going to divide 64... By 4, we'll get 16. So, wala tayong remainder dyan. That is why our answer for this item is true. Next, number 2. 1,256 is divisible by 8. Okay, so yung last 3 digits, 256. So, pwede nyo i-divide sa inyong paper on your own, para malaman nyo kung divisible by 8. So, 256, pag dinibide po natin yan sa 8, the answer is 32. So, wala po tayong remainder. Therefore, true din po ang ating sagot. Next, 2,742 is divisible by 12. Okay. So, Divisible by 12, kailangan divisible by 3 and 4 siya. So, check natin sa divisibility rule by 3. 2 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2. So, 2 plus 7, we have 9 plus 4, 13 plus 2, 15. So, check po siya dun sa divisibility by 3. Dun naman sa 4. So, yung last two digits niya is 42. So, 42, divide natin sa 4. Ang makukuha po nating sagot dito is 10, remainder 2. Since nakakuha tayo ng remainder, hindi po divisible by 4 yun. So, ang sagot natin dito sa statement na to is false. Kahit na divisible ba po siya sa 3, hindi naman po siya divisible by 4. That is why, 2,742 is not divisible by 12. Kaya ang sagot natin is false. Next, 9,586 is divisible by 11. So, yung kakadiscuss lang, yung alternating. So, ang kagroup ng 9 dito is 8. Si 5 naman, 6. So, ayan. 9 plus 8, Minus the sum of 5 and 6. 9 plus 8 is 17. 5 plus 6 is 11. So, 17 minus 11 will have 6. Ayan. And 6 ang nakuha nating difference. So, kapag divisibility rule by 11, yung sum po natin is either sum is either 11 or 0. So, our answer for this question is, for this item is false. So, let's have number 5. So, 4 and 8 are factors of 732. So, dito muna tayo, 732. So, kapag divisibility rule by 4, so, last two digits niya is 32. So, 32 divided by 
that is 8. So, wala siyang remainder. This means that 4 is a factor of 732. What about by 8? 732 by 8. So, pakita natin using long division. So, 732 divided by 8. So, 7 divided by 8 cannot be. So, we'll get the next digit, which is 3. So, magiging 73 divided by 8. So, we'll get 9. So, there are 9 eights in 73. So, 9 times 8, that is 72. Then, subtract. So, 3 minus 2, we have 1. And then, 7 by se 7 minus 7, that is 0. So, we bring down 12. Can we divide 12 by 8 without having remainder? No. So, how many 8 are there in 12? We have only 1. 1 times 8, that is 8. And then, we subtract, we'll get 4. So, meron po tayong remainder na 4. So, therefore, 8 is not a factor of 732. So, our answer for this one is false. So, again, kahit na factor siya ng factor niya yung 4, hindi naman niya factor yung 8. Kasi yung pinag-uusapan natin dito, 4 and 8. Okay, next. Number 6, 4 and 12 are factors of 3,684. So, last two digits nito is 84, no? Number 6. So, 84, divide natin sa 4, ang makukuha po nating sagot is 21. Okay. Correct. Next, yung 12 naman, factor ba siya ng 3,684? So, yung roll po natin sa 12, Diba? Kailangan divisible, both divisible by 3 and 4. So, since we have proven that 4 is a factor of 3,684, we'll just need to add the, the digits, all the digits of 3,684, and then we'll know if the, the sum is divisible by 3. So, let's have 3 plus 6 plus 8 plus 4. So, 3 plus 6, that is 9, plus 8, 17, plus 4, that is 21. Is 21 divisible by 3? Yes. Therefore, 12 is a factor of 3,684. So, to answer the question, that is true. Kasi divisible, a factor yung 4, factor din po yung 12. Ayan. Next, last one. 11 is a factor of 2,000 at uh, 258,797. So, ayan, kahit humaba pa yung mga numbers, ganun pa rin po yung rule natin sa divisibility by 11. So, igugroup natin. So, kagroup po ng 2 is yung 8, tsaka 9. So, ganito siya nyan. 2 plus 8 plus 9. Minus, yung kagroup po naman ng 5 ay 7, tsaka 7. Ayan. So, 2 plus 8, we have 10, plus 9, 19. Minus, so yung sum naman dito, so 5 plus 7, we have 12, plus 7, 19. So, 19 minus 19, the answer is 0. So, therefore, 11 is a factor of 258,797. So, to answer the question, true. So, we are now done discussing the divisibility rules. So, for the next video lesson, we'll have solving routine and non-routine problems involving factors, multiples, and divisibility rules of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, and I discussed na po lahat yung mga divisibility rules na yan. So, we'll be uh, now applying them through word problems. So yun lang, maraming salamat.